A few minutes' drive south of Isla Morada, on the left-hand side as you drive down to Key West, we've got the delightful Annie's Beach. A lovely place to relax. I've met a wonderful guy here in the Keys. He's called Rick. He's from Ohio and he's showing me all the wonderful beaches. Hi, Rick. How are you doing? Good. What have you got to tell me then, please? Well, this is Ann's Beach right here, mile marker 73. I love this beach. In Isla Morada. It meets Purple Isles. Now, there's other um, beaches south of here. There's one in mile marker 54. It's uh, called Coco Plum. That's a very remote beach. Halfway down to Key West. I've never come across that one. That's a very, it's be beautiful. If you like to be quiet, it's a kind of an adult oriented beach. So uh, on one end, it was, it's kind of clothing optional, but the other is a long stretch of beach. <laughs> we won't say anything about that then. <laughs> right, okay. Well, the, the it's locals, a local beach, yeah. The locals use it for their dogs, so it's yeah, very yeah. quiet and remote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And farther down, and I believe it's the prettiest beach in the Keys, is mile marker 50, Sombrero Beach. It's where the big Kmart is. It's got deep blue water, beautiful sand. It's very, it's a nice amongst. That sounds homes. as though it appeals to me. I think we'll go and have a look at that and on the way down. Very quiet, and right now because of the, there's no uh, spring breakers or the or the winter breakers yet, it's um, ideal right now. Well, I wish you an enjoyable stay as well, then, well, Rick. Thank you. Too. You're here nice for over you. Christmas, are you? New Year. I'm here until. I work on a golf course, so I get laid off, so I'm here from <laughs> mid-November to mid-April. Well, I hope to catch you later. I'll shake your hand. I'll, right, I'll have to do it the wrong hand. I'm holding the camera with the other one. Bye Thanks bye. very much. Bye-bye, Rick. Thank you. There you go. We said goodbye to Rick, and I'm now walking along the pathway at Annie's Beach. This is the back pathway walk, and we've got US-1 on one side, and I'm walking towards Miami, so we're now looking at Oceanside. We've got a lovely walk through the greenery, and we eventually come to the area where we can sit out. It's high tide at the moment, so not as much beach, but it really is a lovely, tranquil area. Now a little way through the water, a little splash, and we get onto the beach itself. Oh, it's getting a bit deep here. Never mind, the sandals will take it. And now across onto the delightful sit-out area. High tide, but we've still got the sit-out area here where you can come and have your lunch and enjoy the view from Annie's Beach. Lots of these sit-out areas. But you can imagine at low tide, the beach is there for everybody to see. And it stretches on with these little coves for about a quarter of a mile. Following the directions that Rick gave me earlier, I turned off at mile marker 54 Oceanside and followed a long and winding road that brought me to the end of this piece of land with water on three sides, some expensive houses here, but other than that, basically nothing but the wind through the palm trees and the ocean to view and what is really a bit of scrubland, but nice scrubland as we relax, but it's high tide can't really find a beach at the moment, so come with me and we'll go and explore and see if I can find a beach. I've walked further along and you really do soon get the feeling that you're in the middle of nowhere. I've reached this secluded spot and the only thing that's there is me and the friendly bird. If I walk near, it will fly off. We hope. No, nope, it's going away. But just look at this. Middle of nowhere. And imagine it with the tide out on a beautiful beach. I've now taken the next turn off off US-1 on my way to Key Colony Beach and look what I've found in somebody's garden. Guess what? I found Key Colony Beach 
in the Florida Keys and Sunset Park. And did I have some fun? <laughs> I've just been told I've arrived at Sunset Park, Key Colony Beach, without a dog. And that's why I'm being barked at. Look at this one here. Hello, how are you? Hello, Coco. Well, well welcome, ladies. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. And they, oh, they obey, that's very good. I'm, I'm from England, by the way. I'm a troublemaker okay, from England. I was going to say you were from Australia. They always say that for some reason. But anyway, welcome. Lovely dogs. This is Coco then. Coco. And this one is... Gucci. Gucci. Gucci? Yes. Oh, upmarket dog. Right. A posh upmarket dog. Hello, Gucci. May I go and have a look at your beach, please? May I? Go, Gucci's a talker. Go on. Oh. Thank you. Oh, I'll go and have a look then. Let's go and have a look at Sunset Park Beach. Thank you, Gucci. <laughs> Hiya. Thanks, Gucci. I'll go and have a look. Hey, guess what? I found myself an ice cream place, a coffee place. It's called Lee Ann's and I'm going to enjoy myself. But I'll give you a little look inside. It's amazing down here at Key Colony Beach. Wonderful. Here's a quick look inside Lee Ann's Coffee House. It's a surprising store. And that's where I got my ice cream from. Oh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. left at the big Kmart at mile marker 50 and I've found some Rero Beach. There's a lovely lady holding the camera for me. Thank you very much. So let's take a look at some Rero Beach. done the beaches together, I've driven across Seven Mile Bridge and I'm now at historic Key West, Azul Key West, and I'm going to chill out, dip into their pool and just relax. And hopefully you'll join me for some more Eager Visions on YouTube later.